Shirley, could you turn on the thermostat? Right away, sir. You okay? Of course. I was doing laps back in the days when those monitors were still black and white. Uh, Dr. Morgan, sir. Uh, you're uh, dissecting near the esophagus. Thank you, doctor, but I don't need instruction. Boy, oh, that phrenic ligament is really fibrous. Are you sure it's not mucosa? Damn it. Peter, your job is to assist me. Anticipate my moves. I am, but he's got varices. You can nick one. Tur turn the music off. Don't pull so hard with the Babcock. You'll tear the gastric artery. I'm not pulling. The hell you're not? Dr. Morgenstern, you're obscuring my field. Oh, son of a bitch. You tore the left gastric. Look, I wasn't anywhere near it. Suction? Give me a 10 millimeter sucker. Open ended. Let's move. Give me more suction. I can't see what I'm coagulating. All right, we have to open. No, 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 no. We can control the bleeding. Every time I suck, the abdominal wall collapses. I can't see a thing. Well, then stop sucking. He's lost too much blood. We've got to open. Let's do a midline. Shirley, instrument tray. Two more units of cross matched. Let's move. Scalpel. He must stand. He's a bloody mess. Get that liver out of the way. Deeper retractor. Let's move. Pharisees are bleeding. Suction. 3 0 silk on the pass. Can you see the bleeder? Not yet. Writing down. Two more units of blood. Okay, we've got to crack them. Let me suture. No, we've got to stop the bleeder. Shove your hand in there and squeeze. We're losing them. I can't find the bleeder. All right, we've got to crack them. Damn Ferris. Dr. Morgan, sir, it's been three minutes. Damn it. He's dying. Move. Rib spreader. Damn it, I said rib spreader. Let's move, people. Satinsky? Okay, hey, what is clamp? Do we have a pulse? No pulse. He's in V-fib. All right. I'm starting internal massage. Still in V-fib. The lungs aren't expanding. Increase the volume. Lap pad, I can't get a grip. Still no pulse. Give me the epi. Come on, let's move, let's go. I can't let you examine him until after the autopsy. I know, I, I just want to review the anatomy. That's quite an unusual request, Peter. Why are you so interested? Well, uh, you know, it all happened so unexpectedly. I just... I've known Dr. Swanson for 20 years. Not easy for me, either. So, um, do you think it would be possible to sit in on the autopsy? Sure. Tomorrow, 4 p.m. Thanks. You done your checking on the Swanson autopsy? Yeah. I assisted on the case. I know. David Morgenstern filled me in. Alice, when do you expect to have the report? In a couple of days. The sooner the better. I'm sorry about what happened with Dr. Morgenstern. Is there a problem? No, not really. Anesthesiologist said there was a disagreement in the OR, but when I spoke to David, he downplayed it. Right. Understand Dr. Swanson had uh, cirrhotic liver, varices, secondary to hep B. Yeah, that's right. He did have varices. No wonder you couldn't stop the hemorrhaging. Well, we're running M&M. &M. See if we can learn something from this tragedy. Why don't you uh, take charge, gather all the charts and the tape? The tape? We frequently tape laparoscopic procedures. See if the operation was recorded. If it was, you can take us all through it, step by step. Peter? I've been looking for you. You're one of the finest residents I've ever worked with. And what happened today has no bearing on those feelings whatsoever. I plan to support you in any way I possibly can. Support me? When it comes time for m and I'm prepared to review this case strictly on medical facts. Of course. I believe Dr. Swanson died from ruptured varices. That's not what happened. What do you think happened? You accidentally cut the gastric artery. I've been a surgeon for 20 years. I've never accidentally cut anything. Well, then how did he bleed out? You avulsed the left gastric with your clamp. No, I didn't. The, the tape of the procedure will show that. What tape? Well, I was hoping you made one. Sorry. <sighs> Let's not let this escalate, Peter. As chief of surgery, I could make this an issue of your insubordination. I don't want to do that. Look, I would have never taken over if I didn't believe you that... You did more than take over, Peter. You pushed me away from the operating table. That's grounds for dismissal. Look, if a man's life wasn't at stake... A you... man's life was at stake. And that life was lost. I'd appreciate it if your preparation for m and focused on the medicine and not hypotheticals and accusations. I think Dr. Swanson deserves at least that measure of dignity. 